flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And I'm not my cheery self today. Um, oh, I wasn't gonna, I didn't know if I was gonna tell you guys this, but I thought I, I had to because um, she was on a whole bunch of my videos. So um, we had a sad accident happen last night on the farm and our chicken that was not really a chicken, it was our, our pet, like was on our laps all the time and followed us around everywhere. Um, she was she was killed so uh, it was a rough night she was always under our feet always following us around and just overall with us all the time and um, she followed my husband to a vehicle and he didn't see her it was just uh, an awful 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 accident so <sighs> so we ended up uh, burying her last night off down behind the, the property down the hill and uh, just sucks farm life I've lost dozens of chickens dozens of chickens and it sounds silly it sounds silly like she's a chicken <sighs> she was awesome it's a hard one anyway so dealing with that today I've been crying off and on my eyes are swollen cry for hours this is just I was super attached to her okay I'm not gonna talk about it okay so we have a lot of stuff going on because life goes on uh, and so we're I'm gonna take the kids and we're gonna go weed the dahlias because I've got grass coming up oh in between the dahlias and um, so we're gonna do that and then we also have this project that we're doing right now we went we drove up north today about a half an hour north of us for anyone local we went to Lyleville and we picked up two 330 gallon food grade water tanks so we my husband already did it I took a little video of him doing it he connected them together and then he connected them to our gutter system on our house we also bought a pump that when the creek has enough water we can we can do that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what he did out back <laughs> Can you briefly explain to me what you're trying to do? We don't know if it's gonna work or not, but what are we trying to do? Make you happy. Oh, that's a good answer. But tell me the logistics of what you're doing. Where are you? Hiding. <laughs> Hiding, he said. Okay, so what are we doing? You're taking, where are you hooking it up to? Show me on the thing. I don't know yet. You don't know yet. So you're still brainstorming. Don't you, don't waste that water! Don't waste it! <gasps> oh, oh, there's all that water, no! Apparently our gutter was blocked. I thought you weren't gonna do anything until I got back. Yeah. Eh, what'd you do, what is that? You replaced the gutter end with a piece of tubing. What's the size of that? Four inch square or circle? Looks, it looks square and circle. It is square and circle. So this is the setup that we have out and this is behind my garage. So this is two 330 gallon water tanks and they used to hold liquid cornstarch for making paper. They are food grade so they're okay to use on flowers and vegetables. And you have to make sure that you get food grade ones when it comes to flowers and vegetables. Otherwise, I've heard of entire crops being demolished because you would use a water tank that was not food grade and it had some sort of chemical in it before and then you put water in those tanks you watered your plants and the chemical leached into them also the plastic itself the plastic itself if it's not food grade can leach the plasticky nest of it into the water and then you can kill your plants so you want to make sure whatever tanks you're using are food grade now we did this because we have the wildflower field that's about a football fi football field and a half away I can't run irrigation there it's too much so we're using our natural rain to fill this. So what we did, what he did, I'll tell you what he did. And he won't, he doesn't want to go on camera. So I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. So if you take a look, he went into the gutter system and then piped it 
into each bing bong boom into each tank so when you turn when the water comes off the gutters and fills into there it's going to go into both tanks at the same exact time now these are permanently on a trailer not this trailer this is my husband's trailer we're on the hunt for a boat trailer we think we're going to turn a boat trailer into a permanent solution and then we'll be able to just hook up the trailer and drive around whenever we need to water anything now how do we water so we don't have all the parts yet for the watering system because he wanted to actually get the tanks here look at this measure it make sure we get the right materials for the job so he's ordering a pump that will attach to this spigot right here and then you attach a hose onto that spigot and then I will be able to water so sunny out guys so obviously we didn't want this to be a permanent thing so it's only attached into the gutter system using one screw so whenever we want to take that off say during the winter we don't want this stuff hooked up all he has to do is detach that screw that's holding on the pipe move it out of the way and then attach the gutter piece right back where it was it's 90 it's 90 degrees out I'm dying I know this is a little bit of a shorter video today. I just wanted to show you guys what we were trying to do with the water system. And, and this is for, um, you know, the, where we can't reach with irrigation. We have irrigation to the main garden and we have access to the peonies, but for where the dahlias are and for the, where the wildflower field is, this is for us to drive around and water. So we don't have to use our well uh, because we have gone dry on our well. We don't, you know, we're on a well, we don't have like city water or anything like that. So we're gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know. So far so good, it seems to be working and we're, we, we have the pump to pump the water out. We just have to wait for them to get filled. So he's gonna see how much, we're supposed to get a big storm here in a couple of hours. We've got about an inch of rain overnight. Thank God, oh my God, we were so dry. Also guys, I ordered, I made, I did retail therapy, okay? My favorite chicken, I lost her. I was super depressed and sad. Checked my email and there was an email from um, Edney's, Edney Glockner, sorry. And it was the perennial list for next spring. And I spent some cash money. I sent my order in, guys, I am so excited. What, what am I gonna, what am I getting? Let me show you. <gasps> so many things. Goat's beard, uh, still be echinacea, hellebores, hookahs, liatris, loose strife for the goosenecks, um, some phlox, and some um, more, more and more and more columbines and black adder, gasty, agasti. Ag <laughs> um, anyway, phlox. I say phlox. So anyway, I put in a mass, massive order, massive order. Um, didn't make me feel better. But it's gonna make me feel really sore next spring when the order comes and I gotta put it all in. Anyway, so those, those are things you order now and they deliver um, next spring. And these are all perennials. Perennial, perennial, perennial. You buy them once and they're in your landscape for years. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know um, that, you know, that's what we're up to. So we're hoping for rain so the water tanks will fill. And we are, we have like a 76% chance of rain. Like I said, we got about an inch of rain last night. We desperately needed it. We didn't have any rain for two and a half weeks. I also had my CSA bouquets this week. Um, pickup was yesterday and today. We had a couple people come today and pick them up. And then I have another person coming tomorrow and possibly Tuesday because they were out of town. But I, I have them ready. They're in the fridge. So um, this week's bouquet consisted of uh, Snapdragons. And some, I had some white eyeliner lilies, and then some. I don't even know the name of the variety, but it it's an orange with like a burgundy middle. Someone gave me these years ago. I can't remember who, and I can't remember what they are, but they're beautiful, and they just went gorgeously with the snapdragon. So I had the white and the orange burgundy varieties. I do know that my new lilies are starting to color up. I have 750 of them spaced out. I they're not all going to bloom at the same time. I staggered their plantings. So my first one that's coming, it's coloring up and it's yellow. So I'm excited to see that come up. So I'll be, anyway, so the CSA this week also had um, some Queen Anne's Lace. My Ami Dill was ready. Um, I had, what else? Oh, some of the Celine was in the bouquets. I also put in some Calendula, Calendula in a few of them. Also guys, I had, I'm starting to harvest 
my bachelor buttons. These guys are workhorses, man. I am go. I was harvested an hour later. I go back. I'm like, what the heck? There's 12 more to harvest. I just found out here an hour ago. But this is the variety, the Centura variety, and I don't know if it's gonna focus right here. But oh wow, my daughter's favorite is is this one right here. Um, I'm kind of partial to these pink ones. They're really, they're really just. Is it focusing? Did I put my finger there to focus? I'm trying to focus on my face. Focus on my face. So these are starting to come up. The stems are getting longer. I pinched the middle. These are the short stems. So these are the short ones. These are started. The side shoots are getting longer. Super excited about these. Also, my Larkspur has buds on it, so I'm wicked excited about that. What else is coming into play here? We got some, oh, some of my, um, Scabiosa. I don't, well, if you watched my old videos, I don't know if you've watched them, but some of my Scabiosa was fried to a crisp. I had to rip up the black um, plastic because it was like a 90 degree day early May. It was unexpected, two in a row. And it burnt my dill, burnt my basil, and burnt... Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, oh it just flew through. It just flew through the sea, I think. So, I had... Like, like, oh my god, I lost my train of thought, butterfly. Dill, basil, and my no, scabiosa <laughs> burnt right to the ground. And guess what? They all grew back. So it was almost like pinching them hard. So now they're coming up and they're all branching and they're all going to do great and I'm excited. So anyway, just lots of stuff going on. I also got another new toy and I have to wait until tomorrow night, I think tomorrow night, to do a video about that, guys, because I'm so excited about it, and I think it's gonna be something you guys are gonna find super helpful. So, anyway, what's going on in your gardens this week? Show me what you, how do you show me? How can you show, tag me. Tag me on your Instagram. Show me what you're growing. I'm wicked excited to see. Uh, people are tagging me in my uh, Instagram when they're watching my videos and stuff. Continue to do that. I love to see what you guys are doing, what you guys are growing, where you guys are. If you have any questions, let me know. I might not know the answer, but Google does and I can help you find it. So thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.